This is a page from the Mortensen Math uh, Multiplication Facts Mastery uh, workbooks. I was asked how you would uh, approach this with a child who is not especially fond of games or singing songs, a child who has a little bit more serious of a nature. And um, the way we're going to approach it is basically we're going to start in the concrete, move to the representational, and then finally into the abstract. On this page we have representational, which is the drawing of the models, and also we have the abstract, which are the symbols. So the symbols that represent the drawings and that represent the models. So the first thing that I would get the child to do is build the model. Now they may need to actually count out how many uh, blocks are in each model. In this case we're counting ones and there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And so they can build the model. Now I've already got my model built so I'm just going to pull it out. Here we're counting twos and how many twos are we counting? We're counting one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine twos. And so again have them build that. Mine is already built so I'm just going to pull it out. The next thing that we'd be counting are threes, and how many threes are we counting? Well, we're counting one, two threes, and then we're counting two fours, two fives, two sixes, two sevens, two eights, and two nines. I'm going to pull these up just slightly so that everything's on the board. Alright, so this is our, again, this is our um, concrete model, representational model of the blocks, and then our abstract symbols. Multiplication is really just a fast way of counting, and so what we're trying to do is instead of counting each individual block, for instance, if we have an 8 block here, Instead of counting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, we want to be able to look at that and go, that's 8, right? Or just be able to count by 8s, so that's 8, and then 16, and then 24. But at the beginning, you may have to count each individually. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. So 1, 8 is 8, 2, 8 is 16. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 3 eighths is 24. So what we're looking for is the numbers that represent the ends here because this would be 1 8, 2 eighths, 3 eighths. And you can see that here with the lines, that the blank lines that need to be filled in. So 1 1 is 1, right? 2 1s is 2, 3 1s is 3, four ones is four, five ones is five, six ones is six, seven ones is seven, eight ones is eight, nine ones is nine. And then you can do, oh, all those went flying. You can do the same with your twos. All right, so now we're counting twos. Well, one, two is two. Two twos is four, three twos is six, and again they may need to go one, two, three, four, five, six, right? Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Or they may able just be able to count two, four, six, eight, ten. 12, 14, 16, 18. You can fill in these if you want. 1, 2, 3, 4. Like you can write in the 3 and the 5 and the 7 if you want. If you want to practice, if, if you want them to practice accounting. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, right? So uh, it's really up to you. Depends where your child is. Next, we're counting the 3s. So 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. All right, the next thing we're doing is counting the fours. And we're counting two of them. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm not knowing for my neat writing. Counting fives, one, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Can you see there's a lot of hand eye coordination going on here as well? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. And the last that we're counting are the nines. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. And again, like I said, if you wanted, they could, they could fill all of these in. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. But they don't necessarily have to because the point here is we're counting, we're counting 2s, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18. We're counting 1s, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Here we're counting 3s, 3, 6, 4s, 4, 8, 5s, 5, 10, 6s, 6, 12, 7s, 7, 7, 14, 8, 8. 16, 9s, 9, 18. So that's one approach that you can use to teaching this.